Ooh. Damn, what's going on, buddies? All right, <clears throat> so this is gonna be a reading directed to, oh, look, King of Cups, Cancer. All right, Cancer, this is gonna be for the singles. For the single Cancerians, what is going on with you guys? <clears throat> it looks like, a, I'm looking at myself in the camera right there, it looks like I'm coming to you from Olympus. I think it's Olympus, where the Greek gods reside. Welcome to Athens. I'm fucking kidding. If you guys don't know, when I drink coffee, things get wild. Or should I say, I get wild. Nevertheless, what's going on with the singles? What's going on with the single cancers? The beautiful cancerians. What's going on with you guys? I want three more shuffles. I want to get a general overview of what the singles, all right? Those that are independent, those that are not in a relationship, could be dealing with someone, could be getting over somebody, getting under someone to get over someone, all right? What, what, what kind of mess do you guys got going on? What kind of mess? What's going on with cancers? I shouldn't say mess, especially like <clears throat> in a love and light community. Oof, God, that's all about love and light community. First card of the deck, the goddamn moon. Shit, more like love and darkness community. All right, look, the moon, the seven of swords, and the ace of wands. Well, at least there's a positive shift taking place, guys. All right, but that moon energy, oof. And that seven of swords, this speaks of deception, this speaks of lies. What's going on here with the, with the moon energy? All right, <clears throat> what's going on with the moon energy? So Cancer, to be frank, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know who you is that you're dealing with or what you got in your love life, what you got going on in your love life, but it doesn't look too good. You're either a player or you're dealing with a player or you're just not taking your love life serious. All right, I don't know what it is you're doing, but we're gonna find out what's going on with the moon energy. Why is the moon here for Cancer? <sighs> because you are overthinking a situation. You have no clarity, all right, a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion and what did I do a lot of confusion and you're just overthinking a situation ladies and gentlemen you're overthinking something you're overthinking a matter in which you're actually quite inclined towards so let's just say you're fond of somebody but you're all sorts of confused about the situation possibly because there's distance there's a lack of communication all right there's a lack of insight the magician possibly a lack of action Yet, feelings run deep. And because of this, you are in a rut. You are overthinking. You are just, yes, not doing so well. You could be dealing with an earth sign, ladies and gentlemen. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, nevertheless, the tower moment. Something ensued which was quite catastrophic. God damn, well, no wonder you're single. Shit. Hmm. <clears throat> well, let me tell you, everything happens for a reason. And a lot of times we end up in these tumultuous situ romantic situations for our better good. Clearly, if it was meant to be, then you would be happy. But you're not. All right? Because it's not meant to be. So you could have just dodged a fucking bullet, Cancer. You could have dodged a bullet for all I know. We're going to find out. We're going to be looking into whomever it is that you're dealing with and you. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? Communication is coming forward. Someone is coming forward, ladies and gents, but I'm inclined to tell you to beware. Beware, all right? Use your intuition when it comes to this. I feel somebody's going to try to woo you, Cancer. Someone's going to try to woo you, someone that you're in conflict with, someone that you're not seeing eye to eye with. They're going to try to woo you. Queen of Cups, shit. This may be you, as a matter of fact. This may be you. So cross watcher, watch out for cancer. All right, use your intuition when cancer comes back around. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm gonna be here fucking bashing you guys. Again, this is a cross watch, pro cross watcher. Okay. <laughs> now seriously, guys, roll may be reversed. Take it as a resonance. I'm gonna get individual energies in just a moment. Just gonna get general energy, but I'm telling you, somebody here. Why is the seven of swords here? This is very okay. All right. It doesn't look too negative. Look, it's, I feel as if whomever it is that's coming forward here wasn't dealing with the situation the best way possible. All right? They could be a little egotistical. They could like attention from others. They could 
have a bit of pride to them. Nevertheless, they're now coming forward and I feel like they're wanting to do things differently. They're wanting to do things differently. This person here is very different from you, all right? Queen of Cups, that's you. King of Wands, complete dichotomy here when it comes to elemental energies. What's going on with the Ace of Wands? The Hermit energy. Yeah, somebody here is withdrawn, but there, someone is wanting to come knocking on the door, ladies and gents. Eight of Swords, stress the hell out. It doesn't matter. Someone here is stuck in their own mind. The High Priestess. God damn, all right. So let me see. Where's Cancer in this? Where's Cancer in this? Cancer, four of, four of Wands. Or what about their person? Whomever it is that Cancer is dealing with, a single Cancer, whomever it is that they're dealing with, the Page of Swords. Tell me more about Cancer's person. Tell me more about Cancer's person. King of Swords. Our air energy, nevertheless, I get the sense that it is you that is possibly doing the wooing, Cancer. All right? Your person seems a little uptight for whatever reason. And we're going to look deeper into their energy here in just a moment. What's going on with Cancer? What is their energy towards their person? What is Cancer's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? They get three more. One, two, and three. What's Cancer's energy? Nine of Wands, the Magician, and the Six of Cups. Cancer, you clearly are wanting to give this another chance. You're wanting to reconcile with them, whatever it is. You want, you're appearing as a wounded warrior, you're, you're brushing your shoulders off, you're licking your wounds, and you are trying to be as effective as can be when it comes to reconciling. Alright? Guys, I'm at, I feel like a goofball, I don't know why. This is the fuck it. Every time I drink coffee, hmm, it's like when the, when the caffeine touches my tongue, I just fucking start acting funny. Alright? <clears throat> I don't know what they put in this coffee, but anyways, I bet you guys want some, don't you? I bet you want some of that coffee, or whatever the hell they put in it. Anyways, what's going on with the Nine of Wands? The world card, wanting completion, wanting a new beginning. Cancer doesn't want this to be a missed opportunity. You heard that, Crosswatcher? They want to be with you. They want to reconcile. They want to see eye to eye. Well, talk to me about the Magician. Talk to me about the Magician. Oh, fuck, the Seven of Swords? What's with all this manipulative energy, Cancer? What's with this manipulative energy? King of Swords. All right, Cancer, I feel that like you're being a little cunning with your expression. I feel that you're being, a, I'm not saying that you're being, you know, deceitful, but you're definitely not being authentic. Why is the Cancer appearing this way? Why is Cancer appearing this way? because you're stressed the hell out. Eight of swords, you're all up in your head. So I feel Cancer is in a position where they're wanting to do things right. They don't want to fuck this up, flat out. They don't want to fuck this up. They want to do things right, and they're going about it, you know, according to how they feel is going to be successful, and it's absolutely unauthentic to them. That's what I'm saying. All right, now you cancers that aren't resonating with this, I don't give a shit, all right? Don't bother commenting, oh no, that's not me, this and that. All right, get lost. This is not your reading, all right? Who the hell cares about your, about whatever you gotta say? This ain't your reading, all right? So please don't waste your time. Time is precious on earth, ladies and gents. No one gives a shit, especially me, gives a shit about those comments. You guys just make me laugh, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Get a, get a giggle out of me, shit. Come on, ladies and gents, get with the fucking program. What's with the Six of Cups? What's with the Six of Cups? Three of Cups. Absolute reunion. Mmm, reconciliation, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm talking to cancers that want to get together with someone. They want to have a brand new chapter with someone. They want to they wanna basically open up. All right, I feel that there's been a, a huge element of invulnerability when it comes to cancer and whomever it is that they're dealing with, and cancer's trying to switch that up. They're wanting to be vulnerable. Look at the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. They're wanting to be vulnerable. They're wanting to come together. They're wanting to 
change. They're, they're being cancers. Cancers being a goddamn cancer. Flat. There's no better way to put it. Cancer is being a cancer. All right, they're probably all mushy in their feelings here. Hopeless romantic wanting to save a, a relationship that is basically hanging on a thread. Is it? No, maybe it's not that bad as I'm making it sound. Maybe you guys just had a fucking little fallout and all of a sudden there was a bit of silence and it's now time to come back together. Hopefully that's the case. What's going on with Cancer's person? Talk to us about Cancer's individual. Talk to us about Cancer's individual. Ten of Cups. Oh Lord, have mercy upon Cancer's soul. Mm. And when I say Lord, I'm talking about Lord Anubis, the Lord of Death. Okay? I don't know what Lord you guys think about. I'm talking about Lord Anubis. Have mercy on Cancer's soul. Look at this individual, whomever it is that you're dealing with, is, hmm, it looks like they're, they got a lot of love for you. They're in between two worlds. They're like absolute fucking defeat. Allow this shit to, to be eaten up by the worms. Right? Allow that corpse to be eaten up or revitalize the situation. So you're telling me this individual is juggling the two, the love, the two of pentacles, right? This is a juggling man. Clarified by the lovers. A decision in matters of love. So who you're dealing with has a massive dilemma in regards to making a life-changing decision. And you may say, oh, it's not life-changing. Best believe it is fucking life-changing. If you can open up the door to a cancer in love, more than likely that cancer wants commitment, they want this, they're, they're fucking obsessive and you know, all this. I'm giving you guys shit. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's, let's be real. If you're a mature individual, at least in your 30s, I would assume that if you're engaging in a relationship, you're taking it serious. You're not going into a relationship thinking like, ah, eh, well, I'm just gonna have fun. Maybe, maybe some of you are, but I don't know. If you are, like I said, engaging in a, in a relationship, you're thinking about long term. And that's exactly what this individual is thinking about. They're like, this is a big decision. Do I want to go down this path with cancer or do I want to just allow this situation to die? Talking about a dilemma here. Talk to me about this choice. What are they inclined towards? What is this individual inclined towards? Three of swords? Fuck. They're inclined towards whatever atrocity ensued, ladies and gentlemen. I don't feel this individual is over the heartbreak. All right, I'm not necessarily saying that they're inclined towards allowing this to die, but I feel that their perception is skewed. I feel that, I mean, I'm not even getting an answer, ladies and gentlemen. The answer is exactly that, that this individual is in between two different worlds when it comes to you, Cassidy. A world of bliss and happiness and emotional fulfillment, rainbows and sunshines, love and light. And then we got hatred and darkness. We got misery and sadness, depression, hurt feelings. And they're in between these two worlds. Wow. Well, well, well. I don't know what you did to them, Cancer, but God damn. This individual looks heartbroken. This individual looks heartbroken. <clears throat> my, my moon's in Cancer. Shit, I hope I, hope I didn't break anyone's heart. Not that I think, I don't know. My love life is quite extraordinary at this time. Cheers. Hmm. <clears throat> my son, my son is in Aries. And I'm dating an Aries girl. Go figure. Aries duo. It's actually quite awesome, to be honest. Nevertheless, I'm going to get some advice for you guys, all right? I'm going to get some advice for you, Cancer. And then I'm going to be taking this to the extended where I'm going to be diving into whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to zoom in energy and read into their feelings. Why the hell are these so tumultuous, bent out of shape about you? I want to look into their future vision of the relationship. How do they envision the future with you as of now? It's probably going to be a bit discombobulating. I can tell you that with the energy that I picked up thus far. And then I'm going to look into the actions, the actions that they're going to be taking towards you during this late time of the month of October, all right? But before we go there, I want to look into, I want to look into this individual's, or rather the, yeah, what is Cancer's advice? Any words of wisdom for Cancer that, 
Hmm. Two of coins. Cancer, be sure it is that you know what it is you want. Be sure you know what you want when it comes to the situation. All right. And it's quite, it's that simple, ladies and gents. I feel that when you are determined, when you say, you know what, I want to give 110%, I'm going to do the necessary, even if it's not reciprocated, even if it's not welcome, I'm going to put my best foot forward in this situation because I want happiness, I want warmth, I want success, I want to revitalize this. That is a sort of energy to approach this situation with. This Now, this is for you guys that want to reconcile. All right? You guys have to be absolutely committed. Look at Two of Cups and the Chariot. This is, you know, the, the Chariot, mind you, in the original chariot they've got a white sphinx and a black black sphinx right this is binary energy this is the masculine feminine energy within you this is the subconscious the feminine aspect of the mind and the conscious the masculine aspect of the mind unified carrying the charioteer which is your consciousness towards a specific direction which is the two of cups so what i'm saying ladies and gents is be committed be full all in in regards to whatever decision you're making don't go half ass half footed don't go into a war with it already lost saying oh well i don't know if they're gonna accept me but i'm gonna shoot my shot and we're saying fuck that i'm gonna go in there i want to be with this individual i want happiness i know i can bring back happiness into the situation and i know it's tough and it sucks right now but i'm gonna do it anyways Go in there with the, I mean, it may go right or it may go left. I don't know. We're going to see here in, in the extended, but that is your advice, ladies and gents. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it, buddy. You're going to take it on you, Ace of Wands. Good on you. Cancer, if you're interested in the extended, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, it's a pleasure connecting with you guys as usual. I will see you guys next time.